What's up guys, let's talk about 10 settings that you need to change on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So we're using the S22 Ultra here, uh, but most of these tips you can uh, do on you know your standard Galaxy phone. A lot of these apply. So one of the first ones, uh, settings that I like to change is I actually like to go into settings here. I'm gonna go all the way down about phone and there we're gonna tap on the software. We're going to go to build number and we're going to continue to tap that and then it's going to ask us to put in our pin code here and we're going to go ahead and put that in uh, now when you go to settings when you back all the way out uh, you'll see at the very bottom developer options here so you're going to scroll all the way down all the way down keep going and we're going to look for this it'll be under drawing and the window animation scale we're going to actually set that to 0 0.5 0 0.5 this will make the device feel much faster it makes the animations and everything uh, go smoother here you should notice it instantly that the phone feels uh, a lot snappier and stuff like that so it's not that it's actually like you know it's gotten faster but it, the animations are just at 0 0.5 now all right, so the next setting we're going to change is we're going to swipe down here and I'll just show you guys. You see how we're swiping down but we don't have our brightness slider. We're actually going to change that. We're going to swipe all the way down like that, hit the three little dots here and then we're going to go to quick panel layout and you see brightness control right there. We're going to do show always. Click done and now watch this. When I swipe down, boom, now it's there instead of me having to do that double swipe to get to the brightness slider. So now it's already there. Uh, that's one of my favorite settings uh, with One UI. I think that's uh, just a killer feature right there. All right, the next setting that I love to turn on is we're going to go back to here and we're going to go ahead and toggle on Dolby Atmos. So if Dolby Atmos is out, not on here, you don't see it anywhere. Uh, you might not have it on your specific Galaxy phone, but it's on most. Click the plus button just to check and make sure if you click that button, it'll show you more little toggles that you can uh, access but it should be either in here if it's not in here that means you don't have the feature um, but Dolby Atmos is really really nice it enhances the sound now it's something that you would have to play around with uh, I personally like having it on so I'll go ahead and uh, let you hear what it sounds like with it on it just sounds a little bit more crisp uh, to me, it has sort of like a more dynamic sort of setting to it, I guess uh, you would call it. Now, if I turn it off, now this is just a standard tuning, so you kind of have to figure out. I like it for like TV shows and stuff, but for like music, I kind of like sometimes turn it off if it's really bass heavy music because I think it sounds, I think it sounds better and it sounds fuller off. But for like video games, if you want a lot of detail, um, it sounds really great for that. All right, so this next setting applies to like S22 Ultra users and uh, Note 20 Ultra users. So the 108 megapixel camera on here is actually not on by default. And the question is why? Because the 108 megapixel uh, takes up a lot of storage. So Samsung leaves it off by default. So it's something you actually have to turn on. So hop into your camera app. You see this button three by four. Click that and you'll see a 108 megapixel option right there. We'll click on it and you will be able to take the full resolution 108 megapixel shots. And just check that out. Uh, it is just super crispy. Like the detail, like you will notice uh, immediately. So take a shot with that regular 3x4 and then take a shot with 108 megapixel. It takes a crazy amount of detail. It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright, so this next tip, we're going to go into settings here and we're going to click on display. So this is something a lot of people don't actually know uh, because you might not be tech savvy or whatever. Uh, but if you actually come into screen resolution, let me make sure I didn't go too fast. Go to display and then you'll see screen resolution right here. And then you'll click on full HD, HD+. Now the HD+, if you're trying to save battery life, like if you want the best battery life, you will go to HD+. Now the screen is going to look a little bit, uh, I guess I would say blurry or uh, what's the low res, I guess. Now Full HD actually still looks pretty good on uh, this phone still. It still almost looks identical. So even, on, even at 1080p basically, uh, it still looks really sharp. But 
the S22 Arch is capable of going up to 1440p and actually a lot of other of the uh, Galaxy phones have this uh, you know, ability to downgrade the screen resolution to be able to save battery life if that's what you uh, desire. So that works on the Note 10 Plus, S10 Plus, any screen phone with a 1440p, uh, you just check it in here. Um, so I'm just going to leave mine to, you know, the 1440p. Also, if you want to change your adaptive refresh rate as well and motion smoothness, basically this is the 120 hertz, um, which makes the phone feel super smooth. You can also put that to 60 hertz and it will save battery life. Again, I'm not going to do that. So if you really want the most out of your battery life, I would say go 60 hertz at 1080p and you will see, uh, you should see way better screen on time. All right, so the next little exclusive setting here, and this is, uh, I believe, for any Galaxy phone with Android 12. So just for example, I'm going to show you, we'll open Instagram and you guys see if I hold this, it says app info, keep app open. Now, if I go to this one, I have the option to do the split screen and open in pop up view. So I have the option to basically, you know, open two applications uh, at once, essentially here. So uh, the, you know, it's disabled for certain applications, but there is a way that we can force that. So we're going to go into settings, advanced features, and we're going to click on labs, multi window for all applications. We're going to toggle that on. And now when we go, into Instagram, boom, now you can see open and split screen view. So now I can go ahead and open that in split screen view. How cool is that? So the next one is we're gonna head into settings and we're going to go back to advanced features and we're gonna click on side key. So when you double tap the power button here, it opens up the camera. We can actually set that to whatever we want. So inside key, I can press open app and it'll actually just pull up, you know, whichever is my favorite application. So whichever application is your favorite, you can pull um, that up. So uh, let's just put it to like, um, let's put it to like Spotify. So, you know, when I unlock my phone, right? I just go straight into Spotify. I wonder what it does if when it's um locked. Okay, so it'll bring me to that straight. So even if I tap it on lock screen, it'll still bring up Spotify. All right, so the next one is increasing the flashlight brightness here. So the flashlight brightness is not actually as bright as it uh, actually can be. So if we hold the flashlight toggle, we turn it on, we can actually, you know, it's on level three, so we can actually turn it up. So every time I turn my flashlight on, it'll be on level five or the brightest by default. So you can see it's much brighter um, there. So that's definitely a cool little tip if you use your flashlight a lot. All right, so next I get this one a lot. Uh, so sometimes you'll see me with buttons at the bottom of my phone. So if you don't like these swipe gestures, so you know, not everybody does. You go to settings, scroll down, go to display and you will see navigation bar and you can put it back to the old school buttons. Um, sometimes they'll be on the standard so you can do it vice versa. If you hate the buttons and you want the gestures, you can do your gestures or you can go back to the buttons. Uh, depends on what you like. All right, so the next setting has to do with the S Pen. So when you take the S Pen out, this little menu pops up, but not everybody likes that little menu popping up. Sometimes you just want you know, to be doing whatever you're doing and you don't want to click you know, have to click that off. So to change that, we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go back to advanced features, S Pen, and then scroll down to when pen is removed, just click do nothing. And also one way to make that not as intrusive, you can see menu style, instead of it popping up really big, it'll just pop up on the side. Uh, that's also one thing you can do if you don't want to turn that off completely, but it just makes it like a less intrusive experience. So. Now when I take it out, we don't get a pop-up anymore. And then you can see, I kind of like this more because it's not as intrusive when you have like an application open or something like that. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, those are some settings that I like to turn on and just tweak and mess with. 
And let me know if you guys like this video. I'll do a follow-up when I turn you guys some more. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.